Hi, my name is Nilay and I'm a PhD student at Philips Marburg University. Have you ever think that can we also design a software power plant rather than the usual ones? Of course, they just differ a little bit from the physical pipelines while taking an input from the others and produce results for the rest. My project in Epidiverse aims to develop a pipeline for epigenome-wide association studies, in other words, EVAS. Let me give you a little secret. Do you know that the maternal twins are genetically identical and they carry the same information in their genetics? But what makes them different in terms of behaviors and appearance? What makes us different? Only genes are responsible from these differences or the environment or both can affect the shape are looking. The answer is both for sure. Now let me define another important term, phenotype. It's defined as the state of an N organism come from connections between genes, environment, disease, stress conditions and the molecular mechanisms. We owe very much to plants and we cannot live without an oxygen, so they are our heroes. Our lives depend on them and it's quite important to observe the phenotyping changes on plants for the sustainability of our lives. After the conquest of land by plants, they started to adapt to their new environments. They can be named as stable living beings and unable to change their places easily. Poor guys. Therefore, they need to adapt to the environmental changes alongside to stress and to many herbivores. But how can we relate these observable phenotyping changes with respect to epigenetics? With EVAS. EVAS is used to understand the molecular basis of phenotyping differences and it is based on genome-wide association studies. It unravels the epigenetic and mechanistic basis of plant growth and development. DNA methylation is the most widely used epigenetic mark and its patterns can most probably change over time and change between developmental stage and even for the same tissue. When any pattern is observed at a specific loci, this loci is considered as a potential indicator of an epi epigenetic perturbation showing the phenotypically affected cases from control individuals. We can use Manhattan plots to visualize the significant epigenetic marks. The x-axis is the chromosomal position and the y-axis shows the threshold and the significance based on a logarithmic scale. Each epigenome-wide associated prop is marked with cross and the red color of the closest gene according to the physical position. The developed software related to my project will be applied to study a large set of epigenetic data collected by the other people in the project, and it will be used to understand the epigenetic changes happening in plants from different natural populations and how these changes are inherited after sexual and asexual reproduction, how they differ in annual and perennial species such as Fragaria vesca, Populis nigra and Tlaspiarvens. Thank <laughs> you.